And this is the big update here. Remember, there's been, of course, uh, a review meet with the Prime Minister in the past one hour that we've seen with various stakeholders, including other union ministers sitting for that meet as well. And this is the final decision. CBSC Class 12 board exams for this year, this batch, have been cancelled. The Prime Minister says anxiety among students and parents, as well as the teachers. So this must end. The Class 12 results will be made as per a well-defined objective criteria. This would be done in a time-bound manner. This is, of course, for CBSC to formulate that. And the decision on Class 12 CBSC exams that has been taken in the interest of students. Remember, students were most fearful of stepping out amidst a raging pandemic here, not comfortable of sitting, physically sitting for those exams in examination centers. Our correspondent Aishman getting us further updates here. Aishman, the larger understanding is that uh, it is the fear of vulnerability, the fear of the pandemic, and uh, this is not something that young minds should be put through right now. Therefore, the cancellation. Yes, uh, in fact, uh, Saturday the Prime Minister uh, chaired an important review meeting regarding the class 12 board examination of the CBSC. Officials gave the detailed uh, uh, presentation on the wide based extensive conversation that took place uh, with the state governments and the several stakeholders. Now, in view of the uncertain conditions to COVID and the feedback received from various stakeholders, it was decided that the class 12 board examinations uh, would be uh, would not be held and it was uh, also decided that the cbsc will take steps uh, to compile the results of class 12 students as per well defined objective uh, criteria in time bound manner now that that time bound manner is something that is to be defined and that will come from the cbsc so the latest news is that for the first time, we are seeing because of the pandemic, class 12 examinations have been scrapped. There was a long, long time of deliberation that the states and the education ministry took. And after that, through the prime minister, when he chaired the meeting and reviewed all the stakeholders' uh, suggestions, that clearly uh, a consensus uh, then uh, was uh, there that somewhere the class 12 board examinations need to be scrapped. And that is uh, what the result is. It has been cancelled. And objective criteria in a time-bound manner has to be made by the CBSC through which the assessment will be done and then uh, we can get the results. So no examination of class 12th also. We all, uh, already know that class 10th examinations have been cancelled and this is the class 12th examinations which have also been scrapped this year due to the uh, COVID pandemic crash. Yes. Uh, but Ayushman, there's still a formula that needs to be worked for this. Uh, one would think... Uh, uh, the, the, the formula that was worked by CBSC for class 10 uh, would be fairly complicated. But because this is class 12 that we're looking at, there are different, uh, different subjects for each particular stream that we're looking at here. This would be a far more complicated formula for the CBSC to handle uh, on, uh, on, on reaching upon a conclusion on how each student will be helped to move further. Oh, well, uh, definitely, it is going to be a, a challenging task for the CBSC to draft a, a mechanism in which they can assess the students because uh, time and again, CBSC has been, uh, CBSC and the education ministry has been of the view that examination of class 12 is something that is very, very important uh, for the promotion in the higher education. And that is why it is very, very important to understand that examination needs to be taken and that's in a physical mode. Now, in the wake of the pandemic, second wave, it was later contemplated that uh, a rethink has to be done. And now a complete reassessment has to be done at class 12th level. Uh, this is something that the CBSC will do for the first time. How will they define that? Will the uh, past three years results will be taken? Only class 11th will, uh, result will be taken or 10th result will also be taken. That remains to be seen. But yes, it's going to be a Herculean task for uh, the CBSC as well to draft a mechanism, objective-based criteria, and that's in a time-bound manner uh, for the class 12 students so that no student is felt deprived of the opportunity uh, in the coming days for the higher education is also a bigger challenge than yet. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Ayushman, uh, also take us through uh, all accounts that were taken into consideration here. Uh, this was not just, of course, primarily students, parents, teachers' concerns as well, that teachers, all of them should be vaccinated if they're stepping out for uh, 
invigilation duty here, uh, but also concerns that were, you, that were raised by other state governments. And this is uh, particularly pertaining to state governments that have seen a uh, very high number of COVID-19 cases in the second wave here. Oh, well, sir, if you have to, uh, you just need to go into the background of uh, uh, this uh, entire uh, uh, decision that has been taken. In fact, in the meeting also, the Prime Minister said that mm. uh, the decision of class 12 to go the examination has been taken in the interest of the student. Uh, he also stated that because of the COVID-19, the student's academic calendar has been affected and it is uh, something that is uh, very, very serious in matter and the student's are also feeling anxiety about it and there is a definitely anxiety among students uh, the parents and the teachers are also there and there is a need to end this uh, this was something which the uh, with the prime minister said but given that you have to understand the fact that there were not many options available with the state uh, definitely there was a demand that the uh, that delhi uh, okay. had raised that every student must, uh, student must be vaccinated but the vaccines haven't been tried on the uh, children. So that is that was also not a very viable idea. So definitely there were different suggestions coming from different state government. The state government of Kerala said that they would uh, be in a position to conduct the examination, but that is something that was not considered. And right now you see the decision that has been taken by centre, it clearly means that exams have been cancelled and now uh, there is a different mechanism which will be drafted and basis that the assessment will be done for classical students. Right. Ayushman, please stay on with us uh, as we try to uh, get in more voices here in this as well, because this is breaking inputs. Uh, this is uh, the, the, the recent most development to this that has just come in here. Uh, also, uh, help us understand uh, when, when Prime Minister made this announcement here, uh, that this is going to be now the final cancellation, that there would be no further postponement. Of course, we've already seen postponement. We've already seen stretching of the timeline here to this. Uh, but this time, uh, it, was, it was a decision of a cancellation, keeping in mind other entrance exams, that uh, the timeline of which has to be understood here as well. Uh, yes, sir. Like I, uh, like I pointed out, the fact that even in the meeting, the Prime Minister said that the anxiety uh, and the immense uh, anxiety that is there prevailing among the teachers, the students and the parents needs to end. And that is uh, something uh, you see the, uh, its reflection on the social media because every other day, in fact, every day you see uh, the cancelled uh, class 12 board examinations hashtag was uh, always there uh, uh, on social media. People were appealing to the Prime Minister. There were videos where the students would appeal, the parents would appeal. How would you expect a congregation of students to take place in school uh, when the vulnerable population is definitely going out and they're going to be there in groups, give the examination? This is something definitely was a challenging task. And that's why a full stop was definitely needed today. And that uh, full stop came today when the Prime Minister announced that there'll be no class 12 examination this year. Board examination for the CBSC for the first time is not going to take place in view of the pandemic that we have seen in view of the large number of cases that India is reporting and the anxiety which the students have felt all through this past four months, about from January it was, the speculations were there as to when the examination right. and when and how the examination of class 12 yes, will take place. Yes, and more reactions now, of course. Me. This is the CBSC that we're talking about. It affects all state governments here. We're getting in more reactions. In fact, the state education minister of the Delhi government, Manish Sisodia, speaking on this. Let's take a listen in. On the other hand, I was thinking that how we will study the next year when the 12th will be finished. And if we will talk about the next year, then the next year will be the next year. The next year will be the next year that the corona is growing in the country. उसमें उनकी जान को खतरा था कोई भी पेरेंट नहीं चाहता था कि उसके बच्चे को उसकी जान पे खेल के परीक्षा दिलवाई जाए इसीलिए जब थोड़े दिन पहले मीटिंग हुई थी उसमें मैंने सबकी तरफ से डेढ़ करोड़ बच्चों की स्वास्थ्य का ध्यान रखते हुए फैसला लेने के लिए कहा था और आज बहुत अच्छी बात है कि पेरेंट्स के हित में है टीचर्स के हित में है बच्चों के हित में है देश के डेढ़ करोड़ बच्चों के हित में ये फैसला है इसका हम स्वागत करते हैं और इसके लिए देश भर के बच्चों को भी मैं कहना चाहूँगा कि अब आपकी बारहवीं की परीक्षा जो क्लास थी वो लगातार जो खिस्ती चली जा रही थी उसका एक टर्म एंड उसका एक जो लॉजिकल एंड आ रहा है पर अपनी पढ़ाई जिस तरह से आप करते रहे थे आगे के लिए भी करते रहें सर एक सवाल ये कि जो बच्चे एग्ज़ाम देना चाह रहे थे और 
सबसे मेन ये है कि अब इनको आगे एडमिशन कैसे मिलेंगे इन सब चीज़ों को लेकर बहुत टाइम से हमने जो प्रस्ताव दिया है अब हमने यही कहा था कि आप एग्ज़ाम कैंसिल कर दें और दसवीं ग्यारहवीं और अभी पिछले एक साल में बारहवीं के दौरान बच्चे ने बहुत सी इंटरनल परीक्षाएं दी हैं प्री बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन दिए हैं दसवीं की बोर्ड की परीक्षाएं दी है मिड टर्म्स दिए हैं उन सब में उसकी परफॉर्मेंस के आधार पर उसका आकलन करें और उसको फिर बारहवीं में उसके रिजल्ट डिक्लेयर करें उसके बेस पर फिर भी अगर कोई बच्चा उससे संतुष्ट नहीं होता है तो उसको एग्ज़ाम दिलाने की कोशिश करें जब सिचुएशन ठीक हो जाए तो जो सूचनाएं आ रही हैं अभी डिटेल्स तो सीबीएसई की ओर से बाद में जारी होगा लेकिन जो सूचनाएं अभी आई हैं उससे लग रहा है कि यही प्रस्ताव आगे बढ़ाया गया है कि पिछले दो या तीन साल के आधार पर बच्चे का आकलन किया जाए और फिर जो बच्चा परीक्षा देना चाहे उसको परीक्षा का मौका दिया जाए समय अनुकूल होने पर So the first reaction that we've heard from the Delhi government, and we're going to be getting in more voices. We have uh, educationist uh, Mr. Jain Jain with us connected as well. Good evening, Mr. Jain. Uh, your first reaction here to this? It was a, a continuous postponement and stretching. Eventually, of course, they had to be cancelled. Right. Actually, the, the students and parents, and in fact, our forum we were protesting against this, and they are always meeting also. And make the ministers also, but mm. then it was not happening. But this is the time, you know, like we must welcome and we must thank the prime minister that whatever was required, he has done it. And uh, it was, uh, you know, like the, the time this uh, during the pandemic, the children were so, students were so much stressed. Even their parents were stressed, and they were not ready for the examination. And uh, what was the reason to take the exam? Actually, there was no reason. In fact, why they wanted to uh, conduct the exam? As such, as such, if for the competitive exams will be there for like NEET, NEET, or maybe JEE mains and everything, and for for the purpose of admissions and all, I think uh, they can also conduct a CT when the situation is conducive, uh, everything is okay, and when there is a, no corona, or when they think of opening the colleges. So even if today they take the exams, the colleges are closed, they are shut. So where will they send the uh, students? So the uh, in that yes. uh, if you take everything into consideration, okay. I think this uh, uh, particular decision is uh, appreciable. We must appreciate. We must welcome this. We must thank the uh, government. Right, and, more, and you're immediately, of course, uh, saying that this is a welcome decision. The, the the government has finally decided. Heard all voices, given primary importance to the fear and vulnerability of young students, young minds here as well. There was a lot of mental pressure. But Mr. Jain, we're we're also immediately looking ahead now. Uh, this handled, this dealt with. The next set, the next step is going to be entrance exams, uh, professional entrance exams to, to to various specific streams here as well, uh, and that will now need to be addressed as well. That has to be, yeah, that has to be conducted. But that will be only one day exam, and the CET will be of one day, right? just like uh, competitive exams and all. So the one day they can take a risk when the situation is not well. Then it is not that the conducive situation is not there and. They just go on taking the exam and raise the uh, students. That should not be done. Means so when the, everything is okay, maybe that uh, corona is there, pandemic is there. But then if reduces to a certain level, then only the government takes decision. The government takes less risk. Today the situation was worse. Actually, it was uh, worse. I mean, you can say uh, last year it was better, but this year it was much. Uh, 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 you know, like uh, situation is worse actually. So I think uh, the decision must be appreciated, and mm -hmm. had it been taken, means the decision was not taken by the CBSC board, and other boards also would have, you know, like taken the exams. I can say ICC board, CB other boards, IB boards, or SSC board, and all. Right, Those, and uh, because this is so, the CBSC, we we could have the state board yes. following suit as well. Yes, there right, could be a right. possibility to do that. P please hold the line. We also have Ms. Aprajita, who is the president of the Parent Association in Delhi. Uh, of course, been a very very uh, vocal. Voice uh, participating in protests against this here as well, uh, giving out uh, sharing formula on how this can be an internal assessment or a, a cancellation altogether. Mr. Prajda, your first reaction to this decision now? Uh, definitely, we welcome this decision. Or uh, on the behalf of lots of students, some day can say that because you have seen they are doing every week. In fact, every day I must say that they are doing Twitter campaign to cancel the board exam. क्योंकि बच्चों को अगर हम ये देखें इन रिस्पेक्टिव आप आप 
गवर्नमेंट भूल जाएगी पेरेंट्स भी मैं कहती हूँ को भूल जाइए क्योंकि ये जो बच्चे हैं वो एटीन ईयर्स के देखिए हो चुके हैं मोस्ट ऑफ देम ठीक है कल अगर इलेक्शन होते हैं ये ही लोग वोट डालने जाते हैं तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि ये जो डिसीजन है जो लाखों बच्चे हैं करीबन बारह तेरह लाख उनके फेवर में है कि उन्होंने फाइनली बोर्ड एग्जाम कैंसिल किया क्योंकि जो एक कॉन्टिन्यूस जो जो स्टडी वाला जो इनका रहता था वो डेफिनेटली ब्रेक हो रहा है पर्सनली भी तो आपकी माई डॉटर इज इन ट्वेल्थ क्लास वो मुझे पता है उनका जो स्टडी का जो साइकिल है वो सारा डिस्टर्ब हो चुका है मेंटली बहुत ज्यादा प्रेशर में थे बच्चे कि होगा तो क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा एंड वे रियली वेलकम दे डिसीजन ये अब इनको ये डिसाइड करना है कि कैंसिल करने के बाद हाउ दे आर प्लानिंग की किस तरीके से बच्चों को मार्क्स दिए जाए और हमारा बस यही कहना है कि इस मतलब कोई भी ऐसा नाजायज तरीका गवर्नमेंट लिया या इस तरीके से नहीं दिया जाए जिसमें किसी भी बच्चे के साथ थोड़ा सा भी हम बोले कि हम थोड़ा सा भी पार्शलिटी कर दे या नुकसान हो सके जो देखिए ये जो ये जो मार्क्स है वो रेशनल वो देखने चाहिए मैं देखिए हम यू नो दैट हम लोग प्राइवेट स्कूल्स को भी अच्छे से जानते हैं हाउ दे पीपल आर डूइंग कहीं ये नहीं हो कि प्राइवेट स्कूलों को पूरा का पूरा आप अथॉरिटी दे दें आई एम टेलिंग यू वन थिंग आई एम लेट मी गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल जैसे प्राइवेट स्कूल में जो थर्टी मार्क्स का प्रैक्टिकल का होता है बिकॉज वी हैव सीन मेनी केसेस कि वहाँ पर जो भी बोर्ड से इन्विजिलेटर जा रहा था अभी मैं पीछे एक दो महीने की बात करूं या टीचर भी वो बच्चे को बोलते थे आप इतना पैसा दे दो विल इंक्रीज योर मार्क्स हमारा यहाँ पर कहीं ना कहीं बैकवर्ड का माइंड है कि पूरी अथॉरिटी अगर आप स्कूल को दे देंगे या मैं रिपीट करी प्राइवेट स्कूल पूरा अथॉरिटी दे देंगे कहीं यहाँ पे पैसों का क्योंकि एक बार अगर वन परसेंट मार्क्स और टू परसेंट मार्क्स का ही पूरा का पूरा गेम होता है कि यहाँ पर कहीं परसेंटेज इंक्रीज करने के लिए स्कूल स्पेसिफिक डिमांड ना कर, करना शुरू करें No, but this, this, uh, all right. So this is a valid concern, but this is, of course, uh, a very, very uh, uh, a strong allegation, so to say that uh, could could there be chances of bribery? We we haven't seen that happening ever within the CBSC as far as even taking exams and marking students is concerned. But let's let's get in another voice here, Miss Anubha Sahai, advocate and president of the India White Parents Association. Once again, a very vocal voice uh, was against the exams here, saying that an internal assessment can work. Uh, Anubha, good evening. Thanks for being with us. Now, of course, it is uh, an entire cancellation of these exams here. uh what what do you think should be uh, apart from taking your immediate reaction to these breaking inputs what do you think should be the road ahead the assessment and the formula that cbsc now should be working on for the class 12 students first of all uh, i am really thankful and grateful to our pm modi ji that he has taken a very good decision by cancelling these exams during such uncertain time and uh, we know how Mm -hmm. students and teachers community they all are under stress because nobody wants to go out and take risk during such uh, cases cases are rising so we all are very much stressed that the exam in offline mode should not be conducted that is what we have been mm -hmm. demanding and the exam should be cancelled and internal assessment why not definitely internal assessment uh, can be a very good criteria and uh, apart from internal assessment there can be other evaluation criteria also they can have uh, some assignment if tenth the policy by cbsc for tenth board students it is a very good uh, formula that can be applicable even for 12 and those students who are not satisfied who are not happy they can always appear for an exam for improvement improving their score so uh, this is a, a very good decision and secondly okay. we have also requested the government and we have also moved uh, uh, pil and supreme court on the supreme court that university 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 uh, uh, like ugc should come up with a guideline for all the non professional courses to have some kind of aptitude test for the students and uh, state boards also should now follow the okay. formula which the uh, central government is uh, going to come up with
So there should be a new yes. So, so the CBSC has taken the lead here on this. State boards could yes. also follow. Yes, we've we've heard Uttar Pradesh and Karnataka for the state boards say that there is a postponement, but uh, things could change. Looking at what the central government has decided to do for CBSC Class 12. Many thanks to all the voices who've spoken us uh, spoken to us here on this. Undoubtedly, this is a big relief for young minds who were who were stressed fearful and vulnerable at this point, uh, did not want to sit and take these exams this year. Thanks for being with us. It's a wrap on the show here.